In today's video, we gotta move our 75 broiler chickens into the other brooders because they're getting too crowded in there. Also, we're expanding our garden today because this year we're gonna be planting more food. It's been about a week since we moved these three feeder pigs into this area. Let me show you what they did. Hey, pigs. They dug up a good portion of this spot right here in the front. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. You too. This is mainly where they root up. And then as you get closer over here, that's where they poop. They have not touched the poop area. Well, you know, pigs are smart. You know, they pick a spot. And they picked this back half over here where they poop and they have not dug this up at all. That's where they've been sleeping. They dug it up a little bit. Big boy hams. Big boy hams. This was a big old ant hill. I've been putting food on here. I want them to, to get rid of it. And yeah, they're, they're digging that up too. Hey pigs. I want them to till this area because we're gonna create it, create a garden here. It's gonna be probably pumpkins or something. But so far, I think they're doing a good job. Now, we'll probably end up still getting some kind of tillage, tiller in here uh, once these pigs are out. You know, they're not d doing exactly what a tiller would do. They're breaking it up pretty good. You know, they gave us a good start. <laughs> Zeke. Good morning, Zeke. Elvira, how are you doing with your babies? Where are your babies at? There's one. They're getting bigger guys, look at them. Usually in the morning they stand there, they're usually they're still asleep. And then they'll come out in the afternoon. They're probably just still kind of cold. She initially had eight piglets, but she crushed one, or we think she crushed one and it died. So the seven that we still have are still going good. We're keeping Zeke separate still. You know, I'm, it's really mainly about, cause I don't want Zeke to mate with Elvira again. I mean, eventually, but not right now. Uh, and I don't know how he would do with the little piglets. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. The coonies, you could breed them up to like twice a year. So we might end up doing that. Here guys, nine yards of soil for our raised beds. We're looking for cow poop. Right here. Right here, we found there's it. One. Oh, there's worms. Ooh, great. The chickens actually did a good job of spreading some of this cow stuff, uh, you know. Look at all these worms. We're adding some of this to the soil in our raised beds. Every St. Patrick's Day, we plant potatoes. We bought three bags of these potatoes, organic red potatoes, on sale for $1.99 at the grocery store. And we're gonna turn this bag into multiple potatoes three times as much. They've already got their eyes on them. We do use potatoes a lot in our cooking and that's one of the things that we buy at the grocery store. But if we could multiply that $1.99 bag, then that would definitely help us out this year. I'm gonna say that tractors are overrated until I actually buy one.
fly spray when this used to be a horse barn. And now, let's test. I made this red brooder a couple years ago because we didn't have a spot to put it underneath. It's meant to be outside and out of rain. But now that I have this nice shed, I don't need this top on it. So I'm gonna modify it by putting this wire mesh and then hanging a heat lamp. I'm putting 25 of these baby chicks into each one of these brooders. And then I still have about two weeks before we put them out on grass into the bigger movable coops. And today I'm at Lowe's and if you want an economical way of raising and building raised garden beds, look for picket fencing. Nine of these picket fencings will be for one raised garden bed. I'm gonna cut these dog ear ends off. And then I'm gonna need a few of these cut in half. When you do it this way, this is the only waste on these boards. There we go. We have these three raised beds that just got charred. And then now we gotta put them together, Shusugiban style. That's gonna seal the wood a little bit better and hopefully it'll last longer. And then now we gotta bring it up the hill and then put them all together so we can start this garden. These beds are a year old. It's already kind of wearing down. I mean, they're still solid. But these ones, look how darker these are. Unless I did a better job this time. And maybe I charred it. I feel like I did. Maybe charred it a little bit longer. The 
the beefy boys poop. They're gonna help us grow some food. We're, we like to put this in our raised beds down in the bottom and then put the soil right on top. I'm learning here that last time we did this and we moved those, you fill that raised bed first and then you set up the other raised bed and then you fill that up and then you fill that up the other one. It's just a lot easier to do that with the tractor and I'm getting the hang of the tractors, which is kind of nice. Not saying that these are foolproof, but when you buy onions like this already started, that helps versus buying them from seed and then starting them that way. So whenever you see a bunch like this, this was under $5 for all these onions. I'm gonna space these close together just because I want to. <laughs> There's no rules here. No rules when you're growing food. All I know is if that chicken comes in my garden bed. This bed we have potatoes, potatoes in that bed, and we have strawberries on those two beds. Now we have onions. This is an empty bed still. What are we planting over here? I've just got just a few of these onions left, so I'm just gonna do a single row here. We have two more beds that have garlic in them. They're not ready yet, so we're gonna bring those two beds. When, th when those are ready to harvest, it, two more beds, and then I still gotta build two more beds, and I think that should be it for this spot, and then eventually we're gonna grow on a different area, more longer rows, but every year we keep expanding our garden. It's always been like that every single year, Last year was our first year here on this land, and so that was a little garden. Now we're expanding a little bit every year. Slowly we're starting to plant more and more. That's the beauty of growing your own food. You could expand your garden. It doesn't have to stay in one spot. You could move it. You could change different ideas on how you want to grow your own food. You could put it in different spots. So many things, no rules to this thing. but. I appreciate you guys watching today and if you want to see a more detailed video of how I built my raised beds with charring them and seeing how we fill them, I'll leave that link here. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.